Hi guys, this is Demon Rants, and today uh, we're finally doing this album review. I've been promising, you know, I've promised to do it uh, months ago, uh, but I'm finally getting around to it, guys, because it's a record that means a lot to me. But before we do that, I'll just mention a few things. I always do this. Um, you know, we're finally in the typical Demon Rant setup. Uh, you can see my room now, you can probably see my room now, my new room. So this will be the setup of the traditional videos now. Uh, you know, um, the Family Guy poster's still at my old house, but instead we've got this uh, Nirvana poster, we've got Kurt Cobain, and the rest of the crew. I really love this poster. I think I got it for Christmas, but yeah, it's above my bed. Really love it. Uh, but yeah, got a new shirt, Death Angel. A little bit edgy, you might think, but I, I I like it, so yeah, you know, get stuffed if you don't like it, but yeah, just kidding. But yeah, we got the Grim Reaper, we got a freaking uh, skeleton on a motorcycle, you know, uh, Ghost Rider ripoff, but yeah, and I got and I got a new kind of like hairstyle, you know, I've started spiking it up again, it's not very spiky, but it's sticked up now, and I like it this way, but yeah. So before we get to the album review, Sunburn. Uh, I'm gonna mention the last video like I usually do. The last video I did was my singing video of Fuel by Hemorrhage. Let's just say it got a bit of a critical divide. And I can totally understand in some ways. I think I did my singing video a bit too soon. I should probably have more breaks when I do it. Maybe about more than six months until the next one. If I want to, and I should probably have better editing. If I if I get a good editing software and a microphone, I might have just my singing over the instrumental of the song, so it'll be more professional. But yeah, uh, but thanks for all the kind comments. There were some well, individuals who spammed it with dislikes, but whatever. If you, you know, some of them didn't have the balls to you know tell them <laughs> who disliked my video and stuff. It might have been bots or something. But yeah, there was a few hate comments. And my response is that I, I can say, I think criticism is great to let people improve. You know, some of my friends were telling me, oh, I didn't sing quite strong enough. And there was a few audio issues because it was quite a, um, you know, an amateur video. But there was some straight up hate comments like calling me p pathetic and stuff like that. But honestly, if you're just going to like insult me and stuff, I'm going to interpret it as like a troll comment and I'll just ignore you so yeah now I used to delete comments I'm trying not to do that as much you know like I used to when I was younger you know I guess it puts me in a bad light but yeah I'm not going to delete the comments but I'm just going to ignore them because if you're acting like a dick mate then it doesn't matter does it if you're not going to give any proper criticism tell me to improve then it doesn't matter but anyways rants over I probably should have made the video a lot better, but I can always remake it sometime with proper software. But yeah, that's pretty much it with that part. But now, we're going to get to the album review. Let's check how far I'm in three minutes, so sorry guys, but yeah. So now we're going to do the album review of Sunburn by Fuel. Now Fuel, it says Fuel 238. I have no idea what the 238 means. Uh, you know, I looked it up on the internet. Fuel is already quite an obscure band, so I couldn't find much, but yeah, they're just called Fuel. Um, but on Google Play Music, when, with this uh, album Sunburn, the title is 238, so it might be maybe like a European, like, you know, version or something, but yeah, there's no difference with the music, so yeah, but Fuel. I love this band. I, In my opinion, I think this band is the best post-grunge band. Now, post-grunge obviously happened because... Well, Kurt Cobain died, so, you know, a couple, you know, Foo Fighters, you know, Dave Grohl, he made Foo Fighters, and there was a couple other bands, and that was basically post-grunge. Now, post-grunge was like, was grunge, but more radio-friendly, and had a lot more, the songs were more focused on breakups and, you know, love songs and everything like that, so, yeah. But I think Fuel were the best because they got everything right. You know, amazing singer, we're going to talk about the band, and the instrumentals were on point. But I'm going to tell you about the history of them, then, of them. But yeah, so how did I discover Fuel? I actually discovered Fuel off of a hate website. It was the top five terrible singers uh, who ripped off Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. And Fuel was like number three on the list. And they were mentioned, no, number, number four, I think. Because I think Stone Temple Pilots, Fuel, Bush, you know, um, the British band, 
And Nickelback and Creed are pretty obvious why they're bad. But yeah, but Fuel, I checked them out and I fell in love with them. And that's why I did all this research on them. So yeah, but we're going to start the review. This is their debut album, Sunburn. It came out in the year 1998. It's 20 years old now, guys. It came out in on March, uh, I think, March 31st, I think, I believe. So yeah, it's 20 years old now, guys. Whoa. Blows my mind. But yeah, great year for music, that. Um, but the thing is... Fuel actually existed way before then, way before 1998. So I'm going to tell you the history of them now, guys, because I like to do that. So before Sunburn, Fuel was uh, founded uh, in, I think they were founded in 1989, but it doesn't really matter. They were founded by Carl Bell, um, the guitarist, the lead guitarist, Carl Bell, and his friend Jeff Abercrombie, who's the bass guitarist. They basically formed Fuel. I think they went by a different name. Uh, until 1994, when they called themselves Fuel, and they got Brett Scallions. The myth, the legend, well, Brett Scallions. They met him in a bar, and he basically became the singer of the band, and thank God, because I think Brett was honestly the best pick they could have ever got for a singer. Oh yeah, also, they're from, I think they're from Tennessee. I'm not exactly sure. They're either from Tennessee or Pennsylvania. I'm not very good at America. In the states and stuff like that so sorry about that guys but yeah so 1994 they released an EP called small the joy all of this all of this is on YouTube by the way you can look it up on the YouTube account fuelies official fuelies by the way are uh, fuels term for their fans so yeah I fuelies I, I I think I'm a fuelie but yeah so fuelies official these are all on you can look them up I might link them in the description but yeah so the first EP was called small the joy then the second EP was uh, Porcelain, which was actually um, Porcelain, came out in 1996. That album actually had a lot of the songs from Sunburn on it, you know, but the original recordings of them before they were refined for the real album. But yeah, Porcelain, it's pretty good, but the production is pretty crappy on that album. And you know how St. Anger, the drums, St. Anger by Metallica, also speaking of Metallica, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire, but... The song Fuel actually came out after the band, so you can't call them ripping off. Uh, but yeah, but you know the drums on St. Anger are like... <laughs> well, basically, on the Porcelain EP, the drums sound like he's banging on tin cans. So, yeah, not very good production. And they released another EP called Hazelton in, like, 1997, I think. But yeah, finally, in 1998, uh, I think... Is it Sony? I'm not... I think it is Sony Music actually, picked them up, got a record deal, and released Sunburn. Now before we get to the tracks guys, uh, oh yeah, also Kevin, sorry I forgot guys, uh, Kevin Miller, also with the drummer of the band, he joined in as well, but yeah. So, we're going to talk about the box art, the album cover is really creepy honestly, we've got this businessman in a suit, and he's like on fire. And, the, and there's some kind of like um, Freemason floor, you know, checkerboard floor covered in fire. And he's holding the freaking sun in his hands and his face is burning. Yeah, honestly, I could see this cover being on a metal album rather than a grunge, <coughs> rather than a grunge album. But hey, it's weird and unique. Also, sorry if like my head's getting cut off here. My room's a lot bigger. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, also the font, the logo actually on the American one or the regular sunburn copy the the logo is actually in capital letters but in this european version they're in like lowercase for some reason so yeah and it says 238 but i have no idea why you, maybe you can look it up but i don't know that's the spine uh oh the back of the cd we got the track list here all this information down here we got the band members here we've got brett freaking scallions with his amazing blonde hair <laughs> uh Carl Bell over here, the bald guy with the sunglasses on. Uh, let me have a look. Oh yeah, we've got uh, Jeff. Jeff Abercrombie's in the back, and Kevin Miller, the drummer. So yeah, that's that's basically the band. I really like the colour scheme of the CD. Very orangey looking, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and the um, the disc as well. We've got the guy's face on fire on there. Pretty creepy. The tracks, and we've got them in some kind of underground parking lot. So yeah, very very awesome. Very cool CD, but we're going to get into the tracks now since we're 10 bloody minutes into this thing. So let's do this. Track number one, Untitled. 
Um, I have no idea why why they didn't give this song a name. I actually think it's kind of cool because it gives it a bit of mystery. But yeah, but this song is quite an explosive beginning. You know, the <clears throat> the riffs are quite heavy and stuff like that. This song actually reminds me of another song by uh, actually by another post grunge band. Some of them, some people hate. Uh, Creed, the, the song by Creed, Bullets, which was the first, also the first track on the album, Weathered. Uh, but the riffs are really like quite, you know, heavy. That's my impression of a guitar there, guys. But yeah, um, really heavy riffs, but there's also quite slower parts where Brett's singing <coughs> his, the slower parts of the song. But yeah. Overall, it's not one of their best songs, but it's a really good opening track to the album. It kind of gets you into it. And that's what an opening app track is supposed to do. So, yeah. And uh, the meaning of the song, I'm going to mention this as well. The meaning of the song, I think, is that it's about, um, you know, it's like, I can't find my way to get far away. I guess it's about, like, moving away from something in the past, forgetting about it. Kind of like, it's a bit ambiguous, but that's why it's called Untitled. Anyway, but anyway, let's move on to track two, Bittersweet, the first single off the album. Uh, I I freaking love this song, I tell you. This is one of Fuel's best songs. Um, <coughs> something in my mouth, guys, but yeah. Got a, a popcorn kernel, but anyways. Um, but yeah, Bittersweet, the riffs are very, like, the riffs are very, like, you know, it's got a lot of power chords in it. Uh, the intro is also really quite nice, you know, it starts off like, kind of slow ambient sound and then it goes straight into the kind of like, do 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 type stuff. And honestly, this song actually, I honestly think this song could have been in like a snowboarding game back in like the PlayStation 1 days, that's what this song reminds me of. And uh, obviously Brett's great, you know, there's some seriously great lines in this song, you know, Swallow the pill, stuff like that. Uh, the song, I think the song is actually about, um, you know, it's, you know, you know, it's bittersweet. It's kind of like about good, good and evil in this world and basically doing something, you know, doing something quite regrettable and then having to face the consequences, basically. So, yeah, bittersweet. But honestly, I, I honestly think this song is the one that's going to get the crowd to get riled up. You know, people people are going to be like in mosh pits and stuff. It's not it's not heavy, but it's quite an uplifting and quite an exciting song that people are going to jump to. And uh, yeah, the song also has a music video. The music video is um, like them playing on stage. They're like playing live on stage and there's people in the audience getting into it. Uh, but there's a bit in the music video where the freaking stage starts moving. I, this is on YouTube, guys. You can check them out, Fuel Vivo. But the stage starts moving and everything like that. So just an awesome music video. Very 90s inspired. But yeah, bittersweet. Check it out. You know, if you love that kind of like, you know, exciting rock music, you should love it. Track number three. <sighs> Shimmer. Yep. You know this one already, guys. I sung it on my channel, and I know why, and and I know why I did it because I I I just adore this song. This might be one of my most favorite songs of all time, and it was the first song I ever listened to by Fuel. So, honestly, this song was just a great you know opener to me to this band. But yeah, Shimmer. What can I say? It's just a beautiful ballad. The intro to it's beautiful. You know, it's quite you know she calls her from the cold. You know, um, <clears throat> the intro is quite slow, it's only a guitar, but then the violins just come in and it sounds beautiful. But after that, the the electric guitars come in, the drums start thumping away, and it's just bloody incredible. There's just so many great bits of this song, you know, it's too far away for me to hold, you know, them bits like that. There's like another kind of like cello bit, there's like a solo, like a cello solo rather than a guitar solo. And there's a bit of bass as well in the background. But yeah, everything about this song. This is one of those... Shimmer is one of the songs where you can put it on repeat. And I'm pretty sure you won't mind, You won't find it annoying. You know, maybe until the 20th time. But yeah, that's just how amazing this song is. Uh, this is probably Fuel's second, second most well-known song. Most popular song. And I don't blame it. It's just amazing. Uh, the song was... Um, it's written by the guitarist Carl Bell. Because he's the guy who founded the band. The, the song is actually about him and his girlfriend, uh, you know, I'm trying to think. 
you know, him and his girlfriend obviously breaking up. You know, like, will we ever be again? You know, because I have found all that shimmers in this world. You know, it's him breaking up with his girlfriend. And then he found out his girlfriend got married to another man and stuff like that. And he really misses her. So this, this song is honestly quite tragic. And I think a lot of people can relate to it in a way. But the song is just so, like, you know, uplifting sounding and just so powerful sounding. It's just, it's just incredible. What easily... One of the best songs of the 1990s, or at least the late 90s. But yeah, Shimmer, out of this world track. What else can I say? Track number four, Jesus or a Gun. We've got kind of like a, well, it isn't really a slow song, but we've got like a ballady song. Now we're moving into the, the straight up hard rock type stuff, you know. You know, it's this song... I honestly think it's one of like Fuel's, probably Fuel's heaviest single, because a lot of Fuel's like popular singles are, um, you know, they're, they're um, quite ballady songs, but Jesus or a Gun was a single, and uh, this song, and honestly, the riffs are just amazing, I, I really love the lyrics as well, you know, everything is trying to take me down, because I'll watch the sky, no, I'll rip the sky from the ground, it's just... Just like it, it really kind of like makes me kind of like emotional and it's kind of angry sounding in a way, Jesus or a gun. So, yeah, this would definitely also be a mosh pit song as well. But, yeah, um, a couple facts about this song. Uh, the song, I think it's about like you know, having faith in God and stuff like that. You may, maybe like losing faith in God and like turning to other interior motives, you know, using a gun to shoot people with, you know, Jesus or a gun. But the meaning of the song is even creepier. It's actually creepy when you realise that the single disc, you know, back in the day when songs used to be singles and they were on CDs, uh, the Jesus or a Gun single by Fuel was released on the 20th of April, 1999. If you don't know that date, that was the day the Columbine massacre happened. Okay, Fuel, I doubt they would have known that, but still. But really heavy, heavy as fuck song, swearing there, but yeah, amazing. Uh, track number five, Sunburn, the title track. Honestly, this is this is one of my favourite Fuel songs of all time. Uh, it's kind of a ballady sort of song. There's a bit of sadness to this song, honestly. Um, it's about depression. You know, it's the, the chorus is, Let the sun fall over me. You know, it's about wanting to be happy again, I think. And there's lots of kind of depressing lyrics. You know, the sky was dark this morning. You know, all my, you know, like... I will, like, tear my eyes out till my head is free from doubt. So this is kind of like a depression song, really. But it's still, like, a good song to rock out to. Uh, I like the um, the guitars are, like, used on kind of, like, there's an, a bit of an effects pedal. So the guitars are a bit like... And honestly, guys, I've n I won't say if I've done it before, but I think you can smoke a blunt to this song. Because it can just, like chill you out but yeah so there's really great effects pedals there's a guitar solo in this song most of the fuel songs that's a good thing about fuel unlike a lot of post grunge bands fuel actually used guitar solos thanks to carl bell you know who well, we're going to talk about fuel in another video about what happened to the band but yeah brett singing is on point he's got that proper like you know like kind of like a howling voice. His voice kind of has a howl to it, like a like a yell to it, and it's just brilliant. He, he inspires me. But yeah, Sunburn, this song, it just means a lot to me. And I will do a singing video on it, but yeah. Uh, so those are like the majority of the singles are done now. We're going to go on to the other tracks. Track number six, New Thing. Um, least favourite track on the album. It's not terrible by any means, but it just feels like a filler track. Uh, you know... I got a new thing, it's so inspired. It's kind of like got a mix of like, you know, um, slower like effects pedals, guitar, electric guitar, and then, you know, power chords to it. But honestly, this song isn't very memorable. It's like your typical rock song. You know, I've got a new thing, so inspired. He's like, I guess, trying to brag about stuff. I don't, I don't really know, but it's kind of skippable. Track number seven, It's Come To This. I, I really like this song, man. I, I don't think it's as good as the others, but I think it's really good. Like, it's got kind of like an... 
an unlike earthly kind of feel to it. Like, you know, fuel is kind of saying, no, not fuel, Brett. Brett is like, there's some, he has some weird, like, word spoken bits of the song, you know, oh, these nectars from a hair, do 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 do. And he's like talking in it, and his voice kind of sounds weird in the microphone. But then there's like these slow, beautiful parts, like, fear I wasted all my time. You get them bits, and then the guitars are like going off again, and, you know, he's, he's, you know, doing his yell kind of like thing, you know. I Till my eyes, they've closed far too long. And then there's like a slow, like, acoustic guitar bit of the song. And then it goes back to the weird talking section. So, yeah, honestly, this song is kind of like... It's kind of like a strange song, but I really like it. Uh, but it, was, it wasn't it was a single, and a, a lot of people don't know this song. So, yeah. Track number eight, Song For You. Kind of a... I, I honestly think this song's a... A love ballad, you know. So I sing this song for you. Um, I'm I'm not sure the meaning of the song, but I think the song for you. He's singing it to like a, to somebody he loves. Um, and another thing about this song, it reminds me of a bloody Oasis song. Like Brett's voice does kind of sound like Liam Gallagher's a little bit, and the whole like you know. So I sing this song for you. Bits honestly does remind me a little bit of old school Oasis. So, yeah, you listen to the song and interpret it whichever way you want. But I I, th I find this song, like, beautiful, honestly. And uh, they're starting to perform the songs live now because it's the f Sunburn 20th anniversary tour. They're playing all these songs. But, yeah, we're going to talk about Fuel's history much later on. A song for you, great. Number nine... Uh, well, track number nine, uh, Mary Pretends. Mary Pretends, she's so insane, so insane, so insane. But yeah, the, another f quite fast-paced, heavy song. There's some quite slow bits of the song as well that are kind of creepy sounding. But yeah, uh, Mary Pretends, I'm, I don't know who the hell Mary is. It might be like, you know, Mary, you know, Jesus' mother, Mary. Jesus for a gun. But yeah, but I think the song's about an insane woman, you know, he's... She says she wants to know how to fly. She wants to know how to die. But yeah, th this is definitely another like crowd, like, you know, excited, you know, like a crowd, you know, pleaser type song. But yeah, Mary Pretends, really heavy song. It's got great guitar work in it as well. The Also, the drummer's on point in these songs. So yeah, Mary Pretends. Uh, we're getting to the end now, guys. Track 10, Ozone, another song, but... But it's probably the fastest song in the album. But it's it is slightly different to Mary Pretends. Uh, but it's it is quite similar. Um, I'm not exactly the sh sure of the meaning of the song, but the song kind of reminds me. Actually, no, not just the song. This album reminds me of the anime Fooly Cooly, which is an absolute mindfuck anime. But I love it. I might do a review on it. Um, if you really want to see it, but yeah, this song reminds me of Fooly Cooly because it's you know I wanna fly like a silly angel, you know oh zombie bear, you know it's you know about like flying and stuff like that in the freaking galaxies and flying into the sun, all kinds of crazy shit. But it's it's a really heavy song. You can kind of headbang to this song, guys. But yeah, um, <coughs> ozone is freaking sick. Now we're going to the final track, guys. Number 11, Hideaway. On point. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, Hideaway, another ballad. It's just beautiful. It's probably the softest song in the album because Brett's... Brett, as much as he can, like, yell and, like, have a proper grungy voice, he has a really soft voice on this song, you know. Hideaway, take me there. I'm not exactly sure about this song, but I think it's about going home, you know, and going back to the... You know, going back to somewhere you love... Getting away from all the madness of the world. That's how I interpret it. But yeah, this song, it's just beautiful, honestly. You can listen to it and, like, kind of feel happy. And I, I think it's an incredible, like, end to the album. Because it's kind of like a slow-paced song. And it kind of makes you think about the rest of the record and everything you've listened to, you know, before it. So, yeah. And and uh, there's also, like, a guitar solo that ends the album off. And there's a bit of, like, um, guitar amplifier reverb, you know. Woo! That ends the song really nicely, actually. And, yeah, it's just a solid ending track. The only thing I'll complain about is there's some, like, lazy lyricism in this song, you know. na 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 You know, so using na's and la's and stuff like that. But, yeah, other than that, beautiful. So, yeah, that was it, guys. Sunburn by Fuel.
overall, my opinions on this album, I love it. Uh, it's it's an amazing debut album from this band. It's very reminiscent of the post grunge style of the time, but you know, obviously, the band members are just like uh, you know top notch. Uh, the production values, the production is really good because it has that mix of being like raw, like the the drum sounds are quite boom, boom, boom sounding, but um, <coughs> but it still manages to like sound really good, and the singing is on point and everything like that. You know the the this. The sound of the, you know, there's no like microphone issues or anything like that. So the production is really great, but it has a good amount of rawness to it. Uh, the song means are quite beautiful. They're quite personal, but I like how there's a good mix of heavy songs. I lo I love it when bands can do both. You know, soft songs and heavy songs. It's just a really good mix. Uh, but yeah, all the all the instrumentals are on point. What else can I say? Um, and also the release date when this came out, 1998. This was kind of a time when post-grunge was kind of like, you know, it, it wasn't the most popular genre because new metal was starting to get big. So that's possibly why this album wasn't as big as it should have been and why a lot of people have never heard of Fuel. Uh, I, I, I certainly didn't until I looked them up. But yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, you know, post-grunge post and everything was dying out and stuff like that. But even though this, even though this album didn't sell like, you know, platinum records, I will say... It did do pretty good because it sold a million copies and the singles, obviously Shimmer was like the huge single off this record. But yeah, it sold, uh, it, it went gold in America and it went gold in Australia so, and it and it sold well in other parts of the world. So yeah, it sold a million copies. So, and I think that's really good for a debut band, honestly. But yeah, so, but don't you worry guys, this, this is not the last we're going to see of Fuel. So ne next time I'm going to do a review of their album, Something Like Human which has got another famous and more bloody amazing tracks on it, but yeah. So overall, Sunburn, check it out. Fuel is on Spotify. You know, I've got the disc here because I love the album, but yeah. Check them out on Spotify, whatever the hell you can. Uh, iTunes, not Google Play Music, because Google, Google Play Music is crap, in my opinion, but yeah. So check them out however you can. To be honest, they're not as big as they used to be. But check out these albums, you know, because they deserve some attention. But yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Fuel is an amazing band. They've actually inspired me. Brett Scallion's singing voice inspires me. So yeah, but Sunburn, amazing debut. Check it out, please. A recommendation from me. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video um, in this kind of style. Uh, you know, different viewpoints. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Peace.